Hi everyone, welcome to Europedia. This is Chandrasekhar faculty at Europedia. Today in this video we are going to see step by step procedure how to apply for MTech at IIT Bombay. Okay, MTech at IIT Bombay. If you want to apply for MTech definitely you must have COAP registration number definitely. So before you apply for any IIT, if you have GATE score uh, for not GATE score self sponsored that is uh, another thing but uh, if you are going through GATE score definitely you must have COAP number right COAP registration number. Yeah, just go to IIT Bombay portal. Okay, first step is IIT Bombay portal. There you will find MTech or MTech plus PhD or MS by uh, research admissions. You click on it, then you will get a, a page like this. You will get a page like this. Okay, I, I already logged in. That's why uh, it came to log. Uh, it came to directly to this uh, this point. There you get a register. One thing you get it as a, in the down. You get a register and login. First you need to register by giving your primary details. Then uh, you get one password. Uh, you are going to give some password using that password and uh, email id you are going to log in once you log in yes uh, you get uh, this this way once you get once you log in you get this way fill form upload or view documents uh, preview form okay once you upload once you fill no you, you, there is a chance for you to preview it i'll show you to you what it is if you just uh, click on fill form then first is name as per your uh, 10th class SSC certificate you are going to fill your name right for example I take in Jatin Singla okay and uh, gate registration number okay so here this is uh, the gate roll number okay gate registration number means a roll number it is gate related details it is gate year which year you can get what is your score and what is your LDR rank and the name here so all these things will be automatically pop up okay so add multiple gate scores if you have more than one gate score you can add here right then after that please enter coap registration number right coap num uh, registration number it is okay coap 25 so this is the registration number the coap 25 is common for everyone those uh, uh, who applied for coap okay registration number uh, that's why it is out of the box you need not to worry about it right other complete exams if you have like uh, some people may have cat score or uh, uh, jrf that kind of exam score they are going to have so there you can write it what is the name of the complete examination year and score right after that your educational details qualifying degree details qualifying degree bachelor of engineering be or btech you can take btech also no problem bachelor of technology here bachelor of uh, uh, technology if it is not there then we go for bachelor of engineering only if technology is not there okay some colleges uh, some universities bachelor of engineering some universities bachelor of technology here bachelor of dental surgery audiology bachelor of occupational therapy pharmacy bachelor of planning urban planning physiotherapy yes bachelor of technology is there here btech bachelor of technology most of the students are having btech only that's why taken for example as bachelor of technology if you have b you can choose b right name of the program so you did your btech uh, uh, regular course or part-time course or correspondence course okay part-time distance regular school open university that way what are the mode of degree you have mode of your program okay you can put there then duration of uh, your program see um, for example i'll take most of the this is not the case with uh, most of the people but for example suppose you did your btech for five years okay so this is the duration of the program in years so four years so see uh, uh, you take you took one more year to complete your degree then uh, you put there five years why because four years degree but uh, you did it for five years sometimes no see here uh, here i will tell you see duration of the program in years is four sorry the duration of the program in years is four only uh, if if they have one more box there like uh, the year of uh, uh, your uh, registration and when you completed then uh, you need to fill as it is means some some people will take it as five years with backlogs but mostly that is not the case with uh, uh, gate uh, applied students through gate students okay uh, and uh, one more thing i want to tell you here there will be an option called uh, bs plus ms okay integrated uh, masters five years integrated msc okay integrated mtech means uh, uh, actually uh, there is uh, there are some universities which offer 4 plus 1 okay uh, the 4 plus 1 that is uh, integrated masters they give they offer bs plus ms that kind of course if you are from that one you can choose uh, integrated mtech integrated mtech or integrated ms also five, five years integrated bs ms that option is there okay uh, most of the students are having doubt here so there you have to put your duration of the program as uh, five sorry for the wrong uh, uh, thing what i told previously that is uh, if, uh, see the duration of the program is for only for btech okay if you are says bsms it is for five years uh, so later see when you re when the year of your admission 
after the year of your admission, the year of your graduation. There you have to fill, if you did it for five years, no, you need to fill test five years only. Okay, some people with backlogs, they do it for five years, but uh, most of the case, for most of the students, that is not the case, right? Next, uh, status of the examination, see, uh, duration of the program, qualifying discipline, civil engineering, for example, I take in status of the examination, results declared or evaded. See, some students, mostly this is the query, sir, I am in final year, I did not yet got my eighth uh, semester mark sheet, what can I do? You put here uh, results are evaded or examination is pending results are evaded right uh, then it is it is not going to ask you even if you are not uploading eighth, uh, eighth semester mark sheet that is nothing going nothing is going to happen there right yeah now address uh, if you if you say that results are declared then you have to uh, put give all mark sheets right see uh, address just uh, you can fill uh, uh, same as uh, uh, communication address okay A permanent address and temporary address both are communication address and permanent address okay then uh, these columns are very simple your mail id pin code mobile number date of birth okay and uh, birth category general see this gn stands for general general sc st obc non criminal layer nationality indian gender and pwd all those things and then continue continue it yeah now here details of academic record of qualifying exam secondary hsc or 12th board onwards right uh, uh, 12th board onwards see, higher secondary he is asking okay he is not asking he is not asking for ssc he is very clearly mentioned 12th board onwards he is not asking for your 10th class uh, marks and details so uh, 12th board onwards then uh, 12th board onwards means 12th also you need to fill here okay bachelor see uh, higher secondary uh, secondary uh, higher secondary means 12th 12th board onwards your 12th uh, uh, see you can fill here then uh, specialization mpc you can put you are from maths physics chemistry then uh, name of the uh, institute or uh, university okay passing year okay marks you got so class or division so these things uh, directly these these are very simple things they can, uh, see he very clearly mentioned 12th board onwards 12th and btec if you have mtech also you can fill your mtech no issues right some people they go for double mtech means they have mtech but uh, their intention is to do mtech at iits that's why they apply again for mtech no issues right please uh, refer to brochure for institutions uh, instructions on filling marks or cpa or cgpa in brochure some instructions are given but this is very simple you need not to worry about it right yeah then uh, departments are interdisciplinary groups center and scholarship applied for see you come here okay uh, select specialization okay i think uh, yeah this is important for us mostly mostly our students will go for ts two years mtech program if you want to go for ra research assistantship three year you can select this also most of our students either one or two if you have a if you want to go for mtech select this ta two year if you want to go for mtech research here both options also you can select why because if you are not getting ta mtech two years you can go for a three year mtech program mtech research it is called as right uh, so mostly we go with the, those the two only other things we are, we are least bothered and uh, sponsored candidates this is for uh, uh, sponsored means uh, company sponsored like psus will sponsor for those uh, right yeah uh, here institute of staff three year mtech program that is not required for us in fact right if you have any papers published you can fill there if not you can put it as zero right employment details if you worked somewhere you can give the employment details if you do not have any work experience you can leave that this is uh, very simple okay leave blank if current employee okay if uh, leave blank for current employee okay if you are working currently you need not to fill anything here uh, you, you just you have to give your starting date ending date today's date you need not to fill you very clearly mentioned leave blank for current employee right yeah signature uh, upload signature using uh, um, upload or view documents link okay Place is Hyderabad, just I taken for ref, for my reference Hyderabad, I am in Hyderabad. A date, it is save and continue, save and continue, right? So, click here to continue, click here to continue. Done, fill form is done, very straightforward form. There is no, I can say, twist or there is some, there is no something you need to uh, uh, put your brain to work on it. It is very simplest form, right? Then, upload view on document, upload or view documents. You need to upload your documents here upload your documents here right upload your photo upload your signature upload your mark sheet okay exam pending results evaded candidates must upload their latest or previous semester mark sheets very clearly mentioned right so you can choose here just uh, 
uh, if that is there on the desktop or downloads so you can put your mark sheets on there and upload SOP for MS by research yes SOP that is where your PDF plays a very important role for you to give you SOP the SOP plays a very important role in considering your application right yeah that's all this is a save and continue this is just a save uh, updated successfully right and uh, if you want to uh, preview you can preview all the whether all the details are correct or not if uh, uh, if you want to edit something you can edit also fill the form there uh, before you, you can submit you can change all your details whatever you want last step is pay uh, pay and uh, submit the form photo upload is mandatory i did not upload a photo sop and all these things that's why it is showing like that right so this is the simplest form iit mumbai uh, means no twist nothing very simplest form it is if you further have any queries you can contact us we will help you in uh, filling your uh, iit mumbai application form thank you